Yeah. Let's take a look at some other additives found in processed foods. And Angie, if you can walk us through these as well. Yes, this graphic is quite um, colorful. colorful. And not the right way. Not the right. Uh... <laughs> not the right way, maybe. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of different things going on. There's a lot of different foods here, and you can see like it'll tell you sunset yellow, or it'll you know tell you the blue. And and again, many times we're used to seeing different ways, but on the food label, when you look at the actual ingredients, is where you'll see mm -hmm. these terms. And this one, again, looking at all the different things that we see here, we can kind of get overwhelmed, I, I yes. think, right? And just looking at all the different additives, the preservatives, what do those names really mean? Mm -hmm. Usually if it's a name you can't pronounce, you've heard this, then don't buy the product. Right. And it really depends on how much you're eating them. So that's gonna be another part. It's not necessarily that you can't buy, you just maybe not eat as, as often. Okay, now FCF, what does it stand for? It's just basically, FCF is the food coloring for food. It's just additives that are safe to put in the food supply basically. And how many additives are there? There are like thousands, right? There are. I looked this up just the other day, about 2,700 food additives, including colorings and preservatives, and it's a lot, a lot of different stuff out there. So we're talking that most foods have additives. Correct. Wow. Now, Americans are constantly on the go, and there's no shortage of fast food restaurants and convenience stores. Ultra-processed foods often become the go-to diet for families on the run, and we've had this discussion. Yes. But what is an ultra-processed food? So ultra-processed means it's the highest level of processing, it means that they have done a lot to change the original state. So mm. we think of a food like an apple, turns into an applesauce, turns into an apple tart that's frozen, you see? So the processing stages make a big difference in making it minimally processed or ultra, or what we would call highly processed. Mm -hmm. So you want to try to eat less of the highly processed foods just because they've been changed so much from their original state.